Hello submarine friends. I've started a brand new project. I'm building an ROV that rides on the front of my deep diver submarine on the front platform. So the reason I'm building this is I want to look inside the SS City of Ainsworth paddle steamer. That's in Cooney Lake, about 400 feet deep. So this ROV only has to go 400 feet deep for now. So the first thing I'm making, I just made this today. This is the camera housing. So on the end here, this is a one inch thick acrylic disc that I machined out of an old submarine window. I just took a hole saw, drilled out a round disc, and then I machined the O-ring on there. And then on the other end, I just made a plastic end cap. Same thing, machined it, put an O-ring groove in it and an O-ring. So now I have to drill it to put my electric penetrator through. I make my own penetrators, no big deal. And this is just a piece of acrylic tube it's the stuff I buy to make these LED lights for my submarines. So I don't know how strong it is or what. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back together before I drill and install the penetrator. And I'm going to put it in the pressure chamber and destroy it. I want to see how deep it can go. If it can go 400 feet without pressure compensating it, that's perfect. Otherwise, I'll either have to oil fill it or air compensate it somehow or do something or maybe even a heavier cylinder. Well, let's not jump the gun. We'll pressure test it. I'll destroy one, maybe two of them and we'll get an average and see how it goes. Okay, here we go. So the pressure's climbing. I want to do this slowly so I can see where it, where it's going to fail. The pressure should drop suddenly when it breaks. Okay, we're at 400 feet now. And it's holding. Well, that's a pretty tough little piece of acrylic. We're at like at least five, 600 feet now. So we're at like a thousand feet. Whoa. So we're at 500 PSI. Holy moly. That's unbelievable. Well, I don't need to destroy that because that's way more than I need. That's 600 PSI. So we are sitting now at about 1,500 feet of depth. That is unbelievable. But I see the gauges dropping. I don't know why. I have a feeling that the oil is passing by the piston rings. That's just amazing. Okay, well, I have to admit, I'm shocked. Here it is, right out, fresh out of the chamber. Now, the first time I tried pressurizing it, the end cap popped off, so some oil got inside. But this is exactly how I took it out. I just wrapped tape around and around, and uh, that held the ends on. So, 1,500 feet. I am shocked. So, obviously, this is going to work just fine. So, now I'll drill it, put my penetrator in there, and I will rig away to hold it shut. It'll probably just fit into a spot in the ROV that just locks it in place. Anyways, uh, we'll move on to the next step. Ciao.